Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Ruben from the Parker Campus, and here's your word for the day. You know, when my wife and I see family and friends that we haven't seen in a while, especially those that knew us or knew our lives before Christ, they all have the same thing to say to us. This is what they say. You and Joanna are doing so good, like really, really good now. And I always make sure that I thank them for that compliment. But I also share with them, and I want to share with you today, the reason our lives are good now is because we follow the one who is good. You see, outside of Christ, there is none who is good, not even one. And in Psalm 14, uh, chapter 14, it reminds us of this truth, starting at verse 2. Listen to what it says. The Lord looks down from heaven on the children of man to see if there are any who understand, who seek after God. They have all turned aside. Together they have become corrupt. There is none who does good, not even one. Now this is a great reminder because it is tempting to think that our good works got us to where we're at. Our good works restored our marriage. Our good works rebuilt the bridges that we burned down. Our good works dot, 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 and you can probably fill in the blank. And the truth is, we deserve hell. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We have all turned aside, like the scripture says. But because of God's amazing grace, we are forgiven of our sins when we come into a life-changing relationship with Jesus by putting our faith and trust in Him. And it's important to be reminded that we are not saved by any good works, only by His grace and His grace alone. Remembering, again, that any good in us is a gift that comes from God and not of ourselves. James 1, chapter 1, starting at verse 17, says this, Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from God our Father. And because God is good all the time, when we follow Him wholeheartedly by reading and applying His Word to our lives, walking and living in obedience, allowing Him to change us from the inside out, our lives become good because we're following the one who is good. Because outside of Christ, no one is good, not even one. So the next time someone compliments you on how good you're doing, thank them for that. And take that opportunity to share with them your faith that your life is good because you follow the one who is good. And his name is Jesus. God bless you and have a great day.